Hello everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the new series of power supplies from Antec. This is the High Current Pro Platinum series. It's available in 850 watt, 1000 watt, and 1300 watt varieties. Currently, we're going to be taking a closer look at this one, which is the 850 watt version. Let's start off with a closer look at the retail box. And the, the High Current Pro Platinum is uh, kind of picking up where the High Current Pro series left off from Antec. And if you're not familiar with that one, we have a few videos available for those. Now, uh, some, some changes from the High Current Pro to the High Current Pro Platinum. First one, most obviously, might be the Platinum rating. So this one has a higher efficiency standard or a set of standards that it's going to meet as compared to other 80 plus Platinum ratings. The Platinum rating uh, ensures you that at a 20% load on the power supply, it's going to be 90% efficient. At a 50% load on the power supply, it will be 92% efficient. And at 100% load, it will be 89% efficient. And uh, Antec is actually saying 94% max efficiency there, so at some point in between those. Uh, but it does, of course, meet the 80 plus Platinum standards. And uh, that's going to give you a couple things. First off, in order to achieve that standard, it means that this is going to need to use higher quality uh, internal components in the power supply itself. And then the platinum efficiency standard is going to mean that you are going to be saving power with this power supply, particularly if you were to compare it to, say, an 80 plus uh, gold, bronze, uh, or even a non-80 plus uh, rated power supply. So uh, apart from that, 850 watts available on this one, again, also available in 1,000 and 1,300 watt variety. Another thing that Antec did was went ahead with a 100% fully modular design. So for enhanced cable management capabilities, you get all modular cables. Uh, that's another upgrade from the original High Current Pro series. Uh, Antec does rate its power supplies for continuous power. So you'll see some lesser brands of power supplies, um, which might sometimes list the peak power as the wattage that's available. And while that might be true in some respects, Antec and uh, being a higher quality power supply brand believes that you should only be listing your continuous power rating. So um, as a result, they're guaranteeing that this power supply will be able to put 150 watts of power available to your computer all the time, uh, even at higher temperatures. Uh, also max energy savings, and they've put a little chart for that over on the side of the box right here, actually. Um, you can see the money savings here. Now, they're, they're, they're using a zero point here of a 65% efficient power supply right there. But uh, again, you can tell even going from an 80% or a standard 80 plus uh, rated power supply, the amount of money that you would save. Again, this is going to vary based on uh, how much money you pay for your particular power bill, uh, wherever you might be located. But you can see uh, in both euros as well as in US dollars right there. That's kind of a better idea of how an 80 plus platinum power supply can save you some money. Also down here at the bottom on this side, you can see a list of the connectors uh, that are in the power supply itself. Um, I'm going to be going over these uh, once I get them all out of the box, so I'll show you all of those as well. But there's a quick look in case you wanted to take a quick look. Around here on the back of the box, uh, we have multiple languages explaining some of the more details, but uh, the English section is right up here, if that is your first language as it is mine. Uh, so 80 plus platinum certified, you also get to save energy and money. Uh, seven year warranty for the Antec quality warranty that's uh, put behind this one. Uh, 16 pin sockets uh, available on the power supply, 135 millimeter uh, uh, double ball bearing silent fan, uh, also the 20 plus 8 pin motherboard power connector included, uh, and then you can see some additional specs listed right there as well as all of your over overcurrent and uh, overpower protections and all the all the uh, all the protections built into the power supply right there, as well as all Japanese heavy duty high quality capacitors. Um, Dimensions are listed right there, so you can take a look really quickly um, over on the right side here. Uh, 190 millimeters. Uh, depth is, is probably the uh, dimension that you'd be most interested, so bear that in mind. Other than that, it's a standard ATX power supply. And then finally, we do have some more cool stuff on the bottom here. OC Link is a cool feature you don't see on a lot of power supplies. So uh, if you've ever tried to install two, two power supplies in the same computer, there's some, some finagling you have to do, uh, but Antec has given you a much easier way by using this OC Link capability. You can connect two power supplies together for a maximum power drop, 2,150 watts, um, 179 amps, which is pretty insane. Um, again, you might want to check the power availability on your house to make sure you can push that, but it is a pretty cool feature. Also darkened wires, uh, stealth wiring on the modular cables themselves to give your build a cleaner look overall. Then again, uh, the 16 pin sockets, which are listed right there. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. 
Inside the box, we have some uh, nice closed cell phone packaging. Of course, uh, we've got product overview. We'll only provide general information about the product and its key features. Uh -huh. So here's uh, your basic uh, sort of installation guide and manual, so to speak. Uh, again, different languages supported as Antec is a uh, international company. Uh, but of course, that's going to list all of your power connectors and whatnot for you. Uh, some other accessories we have in here. Don't eat the silica gel. Uh, we also have the power supply itself. Aha, here's your warranty statement for your seven year warranty provided by Antec. Here are your modular cables, and that just about does it for what's inside the box. So, uh, let me just set this aside. Um, I'm going to get all these cables unpacked for you so I can not waste too much of your time organizing that. But uh, the only other accessories included are in this little pouch right here a couple Velcro. Uh, cable ties with the Antec logo on them. I really, really like Velcro cable ties because they're really easy to to connect and to, to, to unconnect and add more cables to and I just I collect them whenever I can. And finally, of course, the uh, Phillips head screws for mounting the power supply to your case. So here is all of the uh, cables that are included in that little cable bag. So let me start off over here on your right, my left. First off, we have a uh, heavy duty, uh, thicker gauge. Can I tell what gauge this is? Uh, this is 14 gauge, all right. So actually three by 14 uh, gauge, heavy duty AC power cable right there. Also your OC link cable um, for connecting multiple power supplies together. And then we have our main motherboard power connectors. So uh, this is gonna be your main 24 pin motherboard power connection cable. Uh, you'll notice that all the cables uh, are sleeved. It's got some plastic sleeving going on right there. And then uh, again, they've got the darkened cables here. Now, I, I like what Antec's done here because you can still see the color on the cables. So you can determine, for instance, which the green cable is if you did need to, to uh, hotwire the power supply for some reason or something along those lines. So I do like that you can still see the colors on there, but um, with the subdued or darkened color, it's gonna blend in much more nicely with uh, your build once you have everything installed. So there's your main uh, 24 pin. You also have a couple uh, eight pin CPU power connectors for supplemental CPU power. So you've got one here that's got two solid blocks of eight. And then you've got one here that's got the block of eight. By the way, these are also labeled with the uh, power supply end, so you know which end to plug into the power supply. Uh, and then this one has the four plus four version right there, so you should be set with them. The vast majority of motherboards that are on the market as far as supplemental CPU power. We've also got uh, VG, uh, P PCI Express graphics uh, power connection connectors right here. There's actually a couple different ones of these. So um, first off, we've got this one here, the 8-pin uh, plug, which goes into the power supply side. And then this one uh, has a couple inline uh, PCI Express graphics connectors. So there's a 6 plus 2 pin right there. And then on this end, we have another 6 plus 2 pin. So a couple available right there. Uh, you get two of those. So um, using both of those, you can get up to four PCI Express 6 or 8 pin power connectors. And then there's this one as well. Uh, this one actually has an 8-pin uh, going straight into the power supply itself, so this is going to uh, provide more direct current. I would go with this one first and then maybe use uh, the, these other ones, uh, but this one on this side has kind of a, a, a design I thought was kind of cool because often with those little inline ones, you'll find when you're plugging in your uh, graphics card, you'll have an extra loop of cable sticking off, but this one just has uh, pretty much one connection point right there leading into two of the uh, 6 plus 2-pin power connectors. So there's another a couple more six or eight pin PCI Express graphic, graphic connectors right there. For peripherals, uh, we have a total of five of these cables. Uh, a couple of them here feature your Molex connectors. Um, Molex being a little bit older when it comes to the uh, peripheral connections for uh, internal uh, peripherals in a, in a computer. Uh, but there's an end that plugs into the power supply. This one will provide you with three Molex plugs as well as the uh, smaller floppy style connector if you still have a device that needs that type of connection. Uh, this one is essentially the same except uh, you don't have the floppy, so this one just gives you three Molex plugs on it. And then for uh, your serial ATA connectors for hard drives, optical drives, SSDs, and the like, uh, you get a total of three of these cables, and uh, it looks like each of these, or at least this one has one, two, three. This one has one, two, three. And this one also has one, two, three. Okay, so uh, these are all the same, and uh, each of these will give you three serial ATA connectors for a total of nine. And finally, the power supply itself, which is currently in its little pouch that it ships in. 
And uh, another change that Antec has gone with with the High Current Pro Platinum as compared to the original High Current Pro is the color, which is black, which uh, I, I would I give them uh, a lot of credit for. Uh, well, I, I just I would say I like the black color better. The blue uh, that the original High Current Pro series was uh, produced in was not a bad color necessarily. It's just a lot more difficult to match with your internal components as compared to the solid black, of course, with the Antec yellow. Uh, highlights going on. Now uh, you'll see the Antec logo HCP Platinum on that side with 850 watt. You'll notice that whether you have the fan uh, pointing up or down, you will still see that logo um, right side up. At the back, oh, this side, uh, you also have an Antec logo. That one will be upside down if you, if you face the fan down, for example, but you know, you can't win them all, I suppose. Uh, here at the back, you got some honeycomb uh, grilling, providing plenty of ventilation for the air as it exits uh, the power supply and your computer itself. Uh, of course, you've also got power switch right there for on-off and uh, the AC adapter cable port. Uh, up on the top, we actually have a power chart up here, which uh, is fairly important depending on, on who you are and how much power you're planning on putting on the power supply. This uh, power supply is designed around four 40 amp 12 volt rails, uh, giving a total of 850 watts. Again, um, continuous power for this unit. So you'll notice if you look at the power chart and you were to add all those up, it adds up to significantly more than 850 watts. And that again is because Antec uh, is is warranting or is is indicating that this power supply can deliver 800, 850 watts continuously. Um, although at peak, it will be able to go even beyond that. Another thing to point out: um, if you're into power supplies, um, there's a, often a, a, an argument versus the single rail versus multiple rails. Um, it's not something that I can delve into too deeply, but I know that better designed power supplies, even if they have multiple rails, will have the proper technology built in to uh, provide load balancing between those. So even if you have, say, um, a high-end graphics card that uh, says it needs a 12-volt rail with a specific amperage available on it, um, this power supply, because it is uh, does use server-grade components inside, um, you'll still be just fine. So again, a poorly, uh, poorly designed or poorly uh, constructed uh, multi-rail power supply can provide some issues in that area, but uh, it's not something that I would necessarily be concerned about with this one. Sorry, I was just peeling the plastic off of the Antec logo there on top of the fan. Again, that's a 130 millimeter silent uh, dual ball bearing fan. And then uh, here at the back, you have your modular connection points. So you'll notice they're all labeled, at least you got motherboard labeled right there. That, that's pretty necessary. Uh, all the 12 volts, these are eight pin connection points right here. Nantec has in intentionally done a design in this way because they wanted to make this forward compatible. Whereas right now um, with uh, motherboard supplemental power, um, you have four pin or eight pin. Uh, there are theoretically going to be advances on that in the future. There's talk of uh, of 10 pin, uh, 12 pin, and 14 and even 16 pin. So uh, Antec designed it in this way to make that more forward compatible. So in the future, I would assume uh, you might be able to contact Antec uh, for uh, other different types of uh, power connectors to keep this power supply more forward compatible with, uh, with computers that you might build a few years down the road, since power supply is often something that I find uh, you can sort of uh, keep using throughout multiple builds. Uh, and I've just gone ahead and plugged in, uh, this is just a PCI Express power connector again. Down here at the bottom you'll see these uh, grouped 8 or uh, eight or 16-pin uh, connection points right there, and uh, those will be just fine for your PCI Express graphics as well as uh, for your supplemental CPU power right there. So uh, again, uh, all your modular connection points right there, OC link right there, and then uh, these are all your peripheral connectors there on the upper right. And that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, we've been taking a closer look at the Antec High Current Pro Platinum 850 watt version right here. Again, also available in 1,000 and 1,300 watt varieties, but please bear in mind if you do go with those, the power chart as well as the modular connectivity may vary from unit to unit. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit the like button. It's right down there in the lower left corner, and we'll see you next time on Newegg TV.